In this video, we will talk about the backup and restoration process of your SOLIDWORKS PDM vault. There are three different components that need to be backed up for your vault in SOLIDWORKS PDM. The database server, your physical files, and the archive server settings. The first tool we will be using is Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. This is used to back up our database server, which hosts all the metadata about your files. The next tool is the Archive Server Configurator. This is used to back up our vault information, such as user passwords and login types. The last component is our physical files. These are going to be found in the file explorer of the server machine using that file path we see here at the bottom. And these files can be backed up with whichever preferred method you have of backing up files. So it's a good idea to back up all of this information first so that we can use these three components to later restore our vault. So let's get started by backing up our database server. In this example, my database server is hosted on Microsoft SQL, and the way that we will back up this information is by using the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So first, we'll connect to our database server by typing in our server name and our login and password information. I'll go ahead and choose Connect, where we can see our databases folder. If I open up our databases folder, this will show me all of the vaults that I have here on my machine. And for this example, we'll be using this vault here on the bottom. So in order to back up this SOLIDWORKS PDM professional database server, all I will do is right click on this vault here. I'll go to tasks and backup. From backup here, you can see I have the option, where do I want to save this backup file? You can see that I've already set this up to save into a folder that I saved on my C drive called example backup, and I'm named the file examplebackup.bak. To choose where you want to save this, you can add a file location, and I can see that the default file location is inside of my program files, deep inside of some Microsoft SQL Server folders. And if I wanted to save it here, I could give it a file name, so I'll call it backup. And the most important thing when saving your file name is to include the file extension .bak. Without that file extension, your file's basically useless. So I'll go ahead and I'll press OK and OK. And we can see here that this has added my second file location. So I just wanted to show that as an example, but I'll go ahead and remove that second file location because I only want to use this location here. Once you've chosen where you want to back up your file and your backup file's name, we can look at a couple of other options here, such as media options. So I have the ability to either append the existing backup set or overwrite all existing backup sets, as well as a few other options here. We can see there's a couple of different backup options as well. But for this example, I'll go ahead and leave everything as default. So just by setting up my backup destination and file name, I can go ahead and press OK. And we can see that the backup of my database was completed successfully. So this is the first of three components that are required for our backup. Next, we will look at the archive server. In order to restore our vaults, user logins and password types, we're gonna use the PDM archive server configuration tool. In this tool, you can see I have this computer and an archives folder. If I open up that archives folder, we can see here are all of my existing vaults. From here, we will use tools up at the top. And at the bottom here, we can see backup settings. By opening this up, we can either back up all of our vaults or whichever vaults we have selected. I can see my backup location here is going to program files, SOLIDWORKS Corp, SOLIDWORKS PDM, and data. Again, you can choose wherever you'd like that to go. So I'll go ahead and navigate to my example backups folder. And I'll go ahead and save it here. I can see I'm gonna include all of the vaults at once. And all we need to do is choose launch backup. You'll notice that there's a password down here. The password looks like it is populated with information, but that is just a placeholder. 
you'll notice that when I choose launch backup, it's going to ask me, are you sure you don't want a password? And whether you want a password or not, for this example, I won't use one. So I'll press yes. I can see that my backup was successfully made. And if I navigate to my example backups folder here, you'll see that I have my backup.dat, which is coming from my archive server, as well as that example backup.bak we made in the previous example. We now have two out of our three components that we need in order to restore our vault. So next, we will go ahead and back up our physical files. For the final component of our backup, we need to back up our physical files from our vault, which live on our server machines file explorer. From my C drive, I can navigate to program files. Inside of program files, we will see SolidWorks Corp. Inside of SolidWorks Corp, we will see SolidWorks PDM. And inside of our SOLIDWORKS PDM folder, up at the top, we will see data. When you open up data, this is going to be all of your vaults here. Again, we are working with the SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional Vault. So when I open that up, I can see that all of my physical files here are stored in a hexadecimal format. What we need to back up is this entire folder. And this can be really backed up with whichever preferred method you like to use. So you can send this to a zip folder, right? I can right click and send this to a zip if I'd like. I can send it to Dropbox, put it on a flash drive, whichever your preferred method is. I'll go ahead and copy this folder. And since I created that example backup folder on my C drive, I'll go ahead and paste it in there. So by going back to my example backup folder, I can paste my physical files in here. And we can now see we successfully created our three backup components here. So for the next portion of this video, we'll go ahead and see how we can use these three components to then restore our vault. To begin our vault restoration process, I've navigated back to my C drive where we will see our local view. The first step is we wanna go ahead and delete this local view. I'll right click on my vault, and we can choose delete file vault view. Here we have the option to leave the local contents or delete the cached files. I'll go ahead and delete the cached files. I'll press yes. An administrative prompt will ask you if you sure you wanna make these changes. We can press yes again. And you can see that sometimes you are met with this screen here if maybe you have a file open somewhere. And basically it's saying that the next time that you reboot, this will all be deleted. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart my machine and I'll see you back here in a second. So after restarting my machine, I can see that my vault view still lives inside of my C drive just as a regular folder now. So I can go back now and since I've restarted my computer, I can go ahead and delete that file. I have a few other vaults here, so it's gonna ask me to log in, that's fine. And I can see that we've successfully deleted our local view. So once you've deleted your local view, the next step is going to be to go ahead and open up that Microsoft SQL Manager Studio. And if you're reopening that for the first time, we can go ahead and reconnect. Again, navigate to our database here. So I'll open up my databases, find my database that I'm working with. So we can right click on our database here. Again, we'll go to tasks and right below backup, you're going to see restore. We're going to go ahead and restore our database. From here, I can choose, what do I wanna restore this from? Another database or a file from our device. So we already have that .bak file. So I'll choose device here. And I'm gonna use these three dots here to navigate to that .bak file from my backup folder. So I'll press add. I'll navigate to my example backups folder. And again, I see that example backup.bak we created before. I'll add that file in. Again, we can look at some uh, files here and some options. So I like to use the options here, overwrite existing database, as well as close connections to destination database. So after we've chosen our options here and we've added our backup file, I'll go ahead and press okay. 
And here we can see our database server has been restored successfully. After we've gone ahead and restored our database server, the next thing to do is open up our archive server configurator and we can go ahead and restore our archive settings. So I'll go up to tools. And again, we'll navigate to backup settings, the same menu we use to backup our archive settings here. All we're gonna do, instead of choosing launch backup, I'll choose load backup. I can see from my example backup folder, I have that backup.dat file we created earlier. And we can go ahead and open that. It's gonna require a password. We saw from before we didn't use a password, so I can go ahead and press okay. And I can now see that my archive server has now been restored. So we've completed two out of our three tasks. The last thing to do is to restore our physical files. So I remember that I saved my physical files inside of my example backup folder. I'll go ahead and navigate here. And I, here I see my SolidWorks PDM files. So go ahead and navigate to wherever you decided to save your files. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy these files. From here, I'm gonna go navigate to that program files location where we went ahead and backed up originally. So again, that is program files, SolidWorks Corp, SolidWorks PDM, and data. Inside of here, I can see my old physical files. And instead of pasting them and replacing, that could lead to maybe you had a few files that you didn't want from before. So to alleviate that issue, we're gonna go ahead and delete this entire folder, get rid of all of that physical data that was in there. And here I can go ahead and paste my backed up folder. We have now successfully restored all three components here. The last thing that we need to do is go ahead and restart our services and create a new local view. So I'm going to open up these services right here on my machine. With my services screen open here, I'm gonna to navigate to S. So just by selecting one of these, I can press S on my keyboard, that'll bring me down here. And what we're looking for is the SolidWorks PDM archive server. You can right click and choose restart. We'll go ahead and we'll restart our database server as well. So I'll right click and choose restart. And lastly, I'll go ahead and restart my SQL server here. Once these three services are restarted, we can go ahead and recreate our local view. Inside of my admin tool, I'll open up my SolidWorks PDM Professional Vault and log in. And here we can go ahead and finish our restoration process by creating a new local view. So I can create that local view on my C drive here. I'll press yes. And it'll prompt us to log in. Once we log in, I can see that all of my physical files are here. All of my settings are restored back to the way they were. So that has been Vault Backup and Restoration inside of SolidWorks PDM. If you guys like this video, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel.